bought in Peugeot's new 5008. And while the car is lovely, it's pretty grim around here. So I'm trying to get a feel for these cars. So I've driven a couple so far, both diesel, both the 1.6 litre engine. The first one we drove um, had an automatic gearbox. I say automatic, it was a manual gearbox, but it gears changed electronically and it did take some getting used to, it was a bit odd. We've driven a smart car, the same thing, and that was a bit odd as well. And now though, thankfully, in a manual, it does feel very nice. So while I'd always plumb for an automatic gearbox in a family car such as this, this electronic one to me was odd because there seems to be sort of a delay when you're changing gear. And if you're changing gear manually, you can anticipate that delay, but when it's sort of done it for you, then, then you don't, it just feels rather odd. So if you do want an automatic, I'd go for the proper automatic gearbox, which they do do uh, with a two litre engine. So as far as I look at this car is concerned, I think we're so used to quite um, lovely soft curves and um, lines with the Peugeot's. And this is more of an angular, sort of a more a crisper look to it, I feel. It looks quite low and sleek, but actually when you're inside it, it doesn't feel as if it's low at all. Uh, it's quite deceptive. And I think the size is deceptive because, yes, you can tell it's quite a good size car. But to actually get seven seats in, it's fantastic, I think. Now, I've always been a great fan of cars with loads of seats, but I have to say over the last few years I've got rather sick of my seven-seater. In actual fact, we've ditched one of the seats and only have six in. But we haven't got any space for shopping or luggage or anything. Now, with this car, you've got the advantages of having seven seats, but the two back ones fold flat to give this enormous boot space. So you need to get them out at weekends or special occasions. So it's very, very clever inside, very flexible, because everything just folds flat. Complete, enormous loading bay. The back two rear seats, which really are more geared towards children and short journeys. But then the three middle seats, all with isofix, again fold completely flat. And has an amazing mechanism for getting into those rear seats as well. The press of a lever, it also concertinas on itself and you can clamber into the back very, very easily. Even an apple could, because that door is a really lovely size. So the interior of this car, there really is a fantastic feel of quality everywhere. Everything feels really nice. And again, like with the 3008, you're in a sort of cockpit-style driving position with all your instruments around you, which does feel quite nice, slightly separated from the rest of the rabble in the car. So we've got this um, head-up display, which when you turn the engine on, it pops up. Um, like something out of some science fiction film and it tells you how fast you're going and also you can set it to tell you how many seconds you are until you hit the next car. 